I cannot wait any longer to share my conversation with the one and only Missy Elliott. The four-time Grammy winner has sold over 40 million records worldwide. She has her own record label, and now she's the first woman rapper to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is a Missy Elliott one-time exclusive. Is it worth it? She's one of the most revered and iconic acts in hip hop. As a groundbreaking hit maker, record executive, and video trendsetter, Missy Misdemeanor Elliott has always moved to her own beat. Is it true? I read somewhere when someone said, What do you want to be when you grow up? Superstar. 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 That's Superstar. what you wrote down. Yes. And I never wavered. I never changed. I said it every time. For over 30 years, her infectious music has captivated audience around the world. And now, the multi hyphenate is preparing to be inducted into music's most prestigious hall. How honored are you to be going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Words cannot describe. It, it just haven't clicked. You know, when you in in the um, hip hop world, that it seems so far out of reach. And you're the first woman rapper. Yes. That's got to just add the significance. Yes, and and it being the 50th mm -hmm. year of hip hop, just the whole it is layers. No matter what people say, the, the hip hop world is is something special and unique. Some of the other inductees, Sheryl Crow, Willie Nelson, and Shaka, 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 Shaka Khan. Oh my God. Is like, it true that your family one time said you were related to Shaka Khan? Yes. Ma I, made you believe that? <laughs> yes. One of my cousins, they had the um, picture in a frame of Shaka Khan and the Jacksons. So for years, I thought that they were my cousins. <laughs> you know, I love love Shaka and Sheryl Crow, Willie Nelson. To be mm. in even at a table with them, yeah, is a blessing. Past a blessing. Mm. I, it's got to be a word, yeah. a big word for that. What does rock and roll mean to you? Rock and roll to me is a gumbo of different styles of music. Because I think we get this thing where rock and roll, you got to have a guitar. Um, that would be like saying, you know, hip hop is just rap when it mm. consists of, you know, we have incorporated jazz, we have incorporated blues. And the video Vanguard winner will have someone very special in the audience who has never seen those famous moves in person. My mother is coming, and my mother never seen me perform. What? Before. No. I mean, she's seen me on TV, right, but right, right, right. she's never been to a show because, you know, I had some little words I didn't ever want her to hear. It was like, so she's coming for the first time. But for the four-time Grammy Award winner, performing can sometimes bring anxiety, like in 2015 when she joined Katy Perry on stage at the Super Bowl. I didn't know how, like, humongous, how many people watch <laughs> the Super Bowl. So when I um, did it, I ended up in the emergency room. Why? Well, my anxiety kicked in, because it, it was a secret. And then the day before, people started, it started being little whispers, like, I think Missy's coming out on Katy Perry set, and I start freaking out. Whoa. Yeah, so the wee hours of the morning before the Super Bowl, before I performed, I was at the emergency room. It feels good to be in a time now where you can talk about it because you realize hey, there's a lot of people that suffer from anxiety. And Missy has also faced physical health challenges. In 2008, she was diagnosed with Graves' disease, an autoimmune disorder that affects the thyroid. That broke down my whole nervous mm -hmm. system because I'm hyperactive. I remember Monica coming to the house one day and I couldn't even hold a pencil. She wrote the lyrics out for me. I felt helpless, like it started messing with you mentally. Um, you know, my eyes, you know, you have all of those different side effects that you have to deal with. Life is, is never going to be just full of roses. You know, these, these are, those tests become, you know, your testimony. 
Now she says she's focused on staying well and empowering the next generation of creatives who have more than embraced her, especially on TikTok. You ain't never seen. You know, that's always great because there's a new generation that may not know who Missy is. So now, you know, you get that resurgence of all of those records, amazing records that they might have missed out on if it wasn't for the TikTok dance challenges. So I love it. In high school? Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> hey, you about to go in the Hall of Fame. What would you tell this young woman? Oh, geez. First of all, I would tell her, please, girl, don't you ever wear your hair like that again. <laughs> it's iconic. What are you talking about? Yeah. But I would tell her, you know what? There is a bright future for you, and keep going. That girl knew she had something that was different and unique. And she still has something sure that is special and unique. And with a resume like hers, you probably wouldn't expect someone to be so down to earth. She is. And Missy is the epitome of cool. She also is someone who cares about giving back to her community. Earlier this fall, she gave $50,000 to families on the brink of eviction in her hometown of Portsmouth, Virginia. Missy told me that she watched her mom struggle a lot growing up and that she really feels blessed in her life now. And her quote from her, she said, I believe that when you get blessings, they're not for you to harbor for yourself. And there's going to be so much more on Nightline tonight on her because she has so much more to say. But she, I mean, she has her own record label. Mm -hmm. She was ahead of her time in many ways. And going through the health battles that she has and to be standing tall and just really wanting to give back not only to her community, but to the music industry as well. And her mom's finally going to see her in person. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be, she's, you know, her mother comes from the church and some of her lyrics are such that she's like, but she's very proud. And she said, yes, she's going to be front and center there. <laughs> Tomorrow, the Hall of Fame and her mom's going to be there. Love that. Yeah.